So my name is Matthew Cassidy. Um, I'm the president of the Coach Atlantic Transportation Group. Coach Atlantic started back in 2005 uh, when my father purchased the first motor coach company. Uh, it was Trias Tours. Um, at the time, there was 20 pieces of uh, equipment, 30 employees, and about three and a half million dollars in sales. Um, since that time, we've grown into a fully diversified um, bus transportation company. Um, there's 20 companies that have been pushed together and consolidated to become part of our group. Um, we have 275 vehicles, uh, we have close to 500 employees. So within our company, we operate um, traditional charter services, we provide cruise ship and sightseeing tours, um, as well as inner city line run services, school bus contracts, and we also do the municipal transit service for Charlottetown, um, Prince Edward Island. The primary piece of our charter business is the multi-day um, tours. And to be able to compete in the multi-day tour business, you gotta be running premium um, late model equipment. And we've made that um, commitment to our customers to be able to provide them with that equipment. We just took delivery in June of six 2020 um, H345 Prevos, and they've been on the road ever since, and they've been performing tremendously. We'll have 42 uh, motor coaches um, this September that are 2017 and newer. We've been a legacy Prevo customer forever. Um, as I said, we have 2020s in our fleet, but our oldest Prevo is a 1997. So throughout the, um, the series of acquisitions we've had, there's always been Prevos in the fleets. Um, some of our drivers talk about driving Prevos back in the six, like as, for as long as they've been driving. And, and the reason why we continue to buy Prevos, yes, there's an amazing vehicle and an, they do an amazing job with what they build, but it's the parts, it's the service, it's the sales team that surrounds the Prevo that to us is just, you can't compete with that. And they do a great job when there's a problem and they do a great job of um, servicing their vehicles. And I always say the sales guys have the easy jobs because they sell you on the first Prevo, on the first bus, but then it's the parts and service guys afterwards that keep you coming back. And Prevo does a great job when it comes to the parts and service side. It's amazing some of the things that over the years they have been able to do for us to, whether it's flying parts into Newfoundland or various things to be able to get us out of binds. Um, again, equipment breaks down and it's a matter of what you do when it breaks down and kind of puts the best foot forward. Because we're so diversified, we're a very high mileage carrier. So all of our, um, all of our new equipment does 125,000 to 150,000 kilometers. So we, have gotten into a cycle of keeping a bus for three or four years, putting um, you know 125 to 150,000 kilometers on it per year, and then moving on from it. Um, we do have older Prevos and older equipment that we add into our fleet to kind of supplement for volume for those peaks in our season. But when it comes to the consistency and sending equipment out day in and day out. Um, it's been our model that we've had success with is running newer equipment and having it um, the uptime, the lower repairs and maintenance and keeping it moving that way. So that's been our model and it's been working for us so far. The phone call you don't want to get when it comes to um, dealing with buses is that you have to replace an engine um, because it's a very expensive um, cost but at the same time you know that if you have a bus that um, is going to last you a long time, you're willing to invest the money in the um, engine to allow you to kind of get the second life out of the bus. So recently we did have a Volvo engine that probably had 1.6, 1.7 million kilometers on it um, that needed to be replaced. And I called up Preville's parts department um, at 10 o'clock in the morning and by 4 o'clock in the afternoon that engine was on its way to us to be able um, to get replaced. And you know, instead of having to go back and forth and figure it out and order the engine and increase the downtime, we got it in. We pulled the bus in the shop and we, you know, we were able to get the, the bus back on the road as quickly as possible. Not that you can tell today, because it's a nice sunny, beautiful day, but in the winter we do get into a very, uh, you know, we, harsh climates. It's cold, um, we deal with corrosion, salt air, so having a bus that's built um, for this climate and withstand this climate is very important to us. And the Prevo bus does hold up tremendously well um, and to be able to operate in our climate and you know, compared to some of the other um, manufacturers that have been here before, um, you know, we don't have the same amount of electrical problems, um, which is just can kind of really um, cause a lot of downtime. So we've been fortunate enough, they definitely, uh, seems to be that they are very well suited for our climate, so it's great that way.